This is a grammatical sentence formation course being taught by M. Kadirvadi Chennai. Dear friend, are you ready? Have you taken your note? Please keep it ready to start writing. Today, we are going to see conversion of simple sentence to complex sentence. You just write heading conversion of simple sentence to complex sentence part 1. Conversion of simple sentence to complex sentence part 1. You see here, in complex sentence, we are going to see a lot of conjunctions. A lot of conjunctions. There are three subordinate clauses in complex sentence. There are three subordinate clauses in complex sentence. What are they? Noun clause, adjective clause, and uh, Adverb clause. Okay. Again, I am going to explain what is a simple sentence. A simple sentence is one which has only one finite verb. A simple sentence is one which has only one finite verb. Or a simple sentence is one which has only one main clause with a phrase. A simple sentence is one which has only one main clause with a phrase. That is very important. Understand? Now, we have to understand about a compound sentence. A compound sentence is one which is made up of two or more main clauses. A compound sentence is one which is made up of two or more main clauses. Then complex sentence. A complex sentence is one which is made up of one main clause and one or more subordinate clauses. A complex sentence is one which is made up of one main clause and one or more subordinate clauses. Understand? You just refer to part two one for all the explanations about the simple sentence and compound sentence. Okay? You see here, Conversion of simple sentence to complex sentence, very, very important one. You are going to see a lot of conjunctions. Namana Purta Patako, or simple sentence in the Yepri complex sentence of Matha for all. Yenan conjunctions were up there. Now, three part of Pritchigre. One part, noun class of our sentence of Kulukre. Next part, adjective class of our Kuri sentences Kulukre. Last part, Adverb class of our sentence of Kulukapare. Okay? So noun clauses, adjective clauses, and adverb clauses. So here, the three sentences are in. That means what? Noun class of our subordinate clause, adjective class of our subordinate clause, adverb class of our subordinate clause. We are going to see various conjunctions. Okay? Ungurde main part in a yepri. One simple sentence, complex sentence, matha for other matra concentrate panaga. Understand? Shall we start? Okay. He confessed his crime. Simple sentence. He confessed his crime. Ave avanodaya crime pupu kondan. Is he a pretty complex sentence of Matuye? He confessed that he had committed a crime. He confessed that he had committed a Crime. Up in the case, le, he confessed is a main clause. Subject to verb. Okay. Now, open one down. That he had committed a crime is a subordinate clause. What class? Noun class is the period. Now, open one down. Or crime says it in the open one down. Up in the case, le, that in solo could a conjunction word. As good as subject to verb. Up, that is called a subordinate class. What class? Noun class. He confessed. That he had committed a crime. If you put a noun class in this particular straight subordinate class, you can understand very sharply. Okay? And the man He confessed that he had committed a crime. Shall I repeat them? Okay. Simple sentence. He confessed his crime. Complex sentence. He confessed that he had committed a crime. Next. He confessed his fault. Simple sentence. He confessed his fault. He confessed 
that he had committed a fault and the case of the crime in the case of fault he confessed that he had committed a fault he confessed is a main clause that he had committed a fault is a subordinate clause okay don't worry about a noun clause adjective clause adverb clause okay say it simple irundhu eppadi complex a mathra mathra paathukirga adu enna agum mind nalla store agum shall i repeat them okay he confessed his fault simple sentence he confessed that he had committed a fault is a complex sentence next his silence proves his guilt his silence proves his guilt this is a simple sentence appo eppadi complex sentence ah paatha porom his silence that means what the fact that he is silent the fact that he is silent proves his guilt the fact that he is silent proves his guilt app in the case le that he is silent is a subordinate clause the fact proves his guilt the fact proves his guilt is a main clause totally it is called a complex sentence the fact that he is silent proves his guilt so i repeat that okay simple sentence his silence proves his guilt complex sentence the fact that he is silent proves his guilt you see here complex sentence very very important one in conversation point of view conjunction of put use பண்றது very very important one இதிலே இருந்து அதிலே அதிலே இருந்து இதிலே அப்படி சொல்லும்போது உங்களுக்கு நல்ல ஐடியாஸ் கிடைக்கும் நல்ல சென்டென்ஸ் ஃபார்மேஷன் வரும் अंडरस्टैंड ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் சிம்பிள் சென்டென்ஸ் ஹி பாட் இஸ் அங்கிள்ஸ் கார் ஹி பாட் இஸ் அங்கிள்ஸ் கார் ஓகே சிம்பிள் சென்டென்ஸ் இப்போ அவே அவனுடைய அங்கிள்ஸ் கார வாங்கினா அல்லது அவர் அவருடைய அங்கிள்ஸ் கார வாங்கினா எப்படி ஒண்ணு எடுத்துக்கிறது நவ யூ see here compound sentence he bought the car which belonged to his uncle eppadi mathanam he bought the car which belonged to his uncle he bought the car is a main clause which belonged to his uncle belonged okay which belonged to his uncle is a subordinate clause totally it is called a complex sentence he bought the car which belonged to his uncle shall i repeat them okay simple sentence he bought his uncle's car complex sentence he bought the car which belonged to his uncle next he worked hard to pass the examination he worked hard to pass the examination is a simple sentence okay ava examination pass panna kashtapattu work panninan idha artham okay ipo complex sentence paarenga eppadi maathran paarenga he worked hard apdiye da he worked hard to pass the examination atha ena seiyaporen he worked hard so that he might pass the examination he worked hard so that he might pass the examination inge varakku so that vand is a compound conjunction so compound conjunction no complex sentence la varum understand ava examination pass pannala endra enathile ava kashtapattu work panninan idha complex sentence ude artho he worked hard so that he might pass the examination so here i have to explain that he worked hard is a main clause so that he might pass the examination is a subordinate clause inge varakudi a conjunction complex conjunction okay shall i repeat them okay simple sentence he worked hard to pass the examination complex sentence he worked hard so that he might pass the examination next simple sentence he succeeded unexpectedly he succeeded unexpectedly edirvaratha vadama avane succeed pannita vetri adaintan he succeeded unexpectedly eppadi complex sentence mathram parunga he succeeded although inga ena conjecture kondu varan although he succeeded although his success was not expected he succeeded although his success was not expected so here he succeeded is a main clause although the success was not expected is a subordinate clause don't worry about noun clause adjective clause adverb clause straight away ninge you understand about a complex sentence okay adile main clause subordinate clause paakrom he succeeded is a main clause although the success was not expected 
is a subordinate clause. Totally, it is called a complex sentence. If a subordinate clause is the correct word. And the success, either park of it, or both of them, all of it is done. This is the word. Let me read it. And the success, either park of it, or both of them, all of it is done. He succeeded, although his success was not expected. Shall I repeat that? Okay. He succeeded unexpectedly. Simple sentence. Then complex sentence. He succeeded, although his success was not expected. Next. I expect to meet Ganesh tonight. Simple sentence. I expect to meet Ganesh tonight. In a key night. Ganesh meet panna na yedir bar kareen. I expect to meet Ganesh tonight. I expect that Tattakondara. I expect that I shall meet Ganesh tonight. I expect that I shall meet Ganesh tonight. In a night, na Ganesh meet Panvin enter na yadir parkare. Is a complex sentence, okay? I expect is a main clause. That I shall meet Ganesh tonight is a subordinate clause. Totally, it is called a complex sentence. I expect that I shall meet Ganesh tonight. Shall I repeat them? Okay. I expect to meet Ganesh tonight. Simple sentence. I expect that I shall meet Ganesh tonight. It's a complex sentence. Okay. Next. He hoped to win the prize. Simple sentence. He hoped to win the prize. I want the prize to win by Nambina. Every complex sentence parga, he hoped that he would win the prize. He hoped that he would win the prize. He hoped is a main clause that he would win the prize. It's a subordinate clause. Totally, it is called a complex sentence. Ave, and the prize of win by win enter, ave, nambinan. He hoped that he would win the prize. Shall I? Repeat them. Okay. Simple sentence. He hoped to win the prize. Complex sentence. He hoped that he would win the prize. Next. His father is not likely to punish him. His father is not likely to punish him. Simple sentence. Okay. Our father, our punish panna papilla. His father is not likely to punish him. Now you see complex sentence. It's not likely that his father will punish him. It's not likely that his father will punish him. It's not likely is a main clause. That his father will punish him is a subordinate clause. Totally, it is called a complex sentence. Our father, our punish panwar, enter by It's not likely that his father will punish him. So, I repeat them. Okay. Simple sentence. His father is not likely to punish him. Complex sentence. It's not likely that his father will punish him. You see here, simple sentence, pirich, complex sentence, change panamode, ye pretty change out in pakanam. Yena, rent of party, subject to verb over no, subject to verb on yadila conjunction over. Yen the conjunction of pota, pitago, adding a pakanam. Otherwise, Meaning is very important. Meaning of what you do is not do Understand? Next. He admitted stealing the watch. He admitted stealing the watch. Simple sentence. Okay. Complex sentence. Parne. He admitted that he stole the watch. He admitted that he stole the watch. He admitted is a main clause. That he stole the watch is a subordinate clause. Away. And the watch. He admitted that he stole the watch. Shall I repeat them? Okay. Simple sentence. He admitted stealing the watch. Complex sentence. He admitted that he stole the watch. Last one. He believes their success to be certain in that case. Simple sentence. He believes their success to be certain in that case. If a complex sentence of parga. You can understand. Okay. He believes that their success is certain in that case. He believes that their success is certain in that case. But to be certain in that case, he is a condare. 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 He is a cond
Up here, he believes is a main trust that their success is certain in that case. It's a subordinate trust, totally it is called a complex analysis. success, our victory on the case le nichayam. Okay, our victory on the case le nichayam. Very good. Urdi. Okay. Certain. Yendru, our number he believes that the success is certain in that case. Shall I repeat them? Okay. Simple sentence. He believes their success to be certain in that case. Complex sentence. He believes that their success is certain in that case. Is it clear? Have you written correctly? Have you understood correctly? Okay. You please listen with the concentration. That is enough. Okay. Let me finish up to this level. Thank you very much for having attended this class continuously. If you like this course, if you are interested in attending this class, if it creates any positive vibration in your mind, please share with your friends and others. It will definitely, certainly and surely make my dreams realized. I will meet you this time tomorrow. Until then, goodbye. M. Kadrivedu. Thank you.